Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and recently we've talked about these book bannings, and I've said over and over again, we have to learn from our history. We can't just put it to the side. We can't just pretend it doesn't exist. Learning from our history helps us prevent bad things in the future, right? Right. We're going to apply that same concept to teen Titans Academy. And by looking at this 12 issues in, we can almost unequivocally say this was a massive failure on every single level. And not only did it fail absolutely from the beginning to the end, it's canceled and it overshadowed a book that was very very well done. The Titans book that may have not been set in regular continuity, but absolutely danced circles around this book and didn't get the spotlight because the spotlight was constantly on Teen Titans Academy. Now, the book I'm talking about is Titans United. If you haven't read it, there's only one more issue left, but it's worth going back if you're a Titans fan. You will love it. From the beginning to what we've seen thus far, you will love it as a Titans fan. It is so, so good. Seeing characters like Lady Vic and Starfire have to team up. Yeah, I won't go too spoilery, but it's amazing. But that's not really what we're here to talk about. Yes, Teen Titans Academy did overshadow that, but I don't want this video to be too positive. You know why? Because If you put a pretty picture over something that's crap, it doesn't mean that underneath it, it's not crap. And Teen Titans Academy is a rare exception to when I dropped a DC book. There are very few exceptions when I drop a book. It has to be horrible. This book was so bad. And we're going to talk about why. We're going to talk about the Red X reveal. So if you don't want spoilers, Don't go any further, but still, you know, you could hit subscribe. That would be really nice. Also, hit like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you read Teen Titans Academy, if you were interested in the book in the beginning. And let's talk about it right from the beginning. So when this whole idea came about, we had Future State come in and we were like, okay, this story is not too bad, right? It's okay. It's okay. I'm kind of digging it. I'm like, it's not my favorite future state story, but the Teen Titans one wasn't bad. It wasn't Legion of Superheroes bad. It was okay. I'm going to read this book by Tim Sheridan. I am going to support it. I want to know who Red X is. We had multiple people, not only on their social media, but myself included, making videos theorizing on who Red X would be. Comic Straight, a huge YouTuber made a video thinking that it was going to be Clown Hunter. He totally didn't get it from my video already. No, I'm just kidding. I am totally kidding. I like Comic Strike a lot. But we did finally get that reveal. But throughout this entire series, we have seen the Titans we love push to the back as teachers. And I'm actually okay with that. If the characters that were pushed to the front were worthy of my time, And it's not even that these are bad characters. This is an error on Tim Sheridan not developing these characters and specifically making them very demeaning to the characters that we love, like Nightwing or Starfire or Raven or Beast Boy, demeaning them over and over and making them rise above and be better than the characters that we've grown up with. That's a big mistake. That's really silly. And I'm hoping he learns from this. None of what I say here is to be mean to Tim Sheridan specifically. But if you don't learn from your failures, you cannot rise above them. This book was bad. From the first issue, it was bad. The character Stitch is unbelievable unbelievably pretentious. Pretentious is putting it nicely. I don't mind Stitch if, you know, she's just making faces and stuff, 
Like the expression, the art is done well. But when Stitch says anything, game over. Like we had Stitch yelling at the Titans and telling them what to do as a student. I cannot imagine a student in a regular school doing that without getting some serious repercussions. But this brings us to the reveal. And oh boy, they said it was going to be in the last issue and it never showed up, right? False advertisement right on the front of that cover. Nice, guys. Nice. Always um, keeping your audience, you know, just lying to them. But this time it actually was revealed. And unless you read this book, you have no idea who Brick is. And Brick is Red X or sort of kind of maybe. And sort of kind of maybe Night, mm, Nightwing might be his dad. But not really. Just kidding. We got you good for like two panels, right? We got you good, fuckers. Yeah. No. This was bad. The whole time this was Brick being manipulated by the real Red X. Now, I'm assuming we may never know who the real Red X is. And guess what? I absolutely do not care. I don't care. I am apathetic to whoever this is because you... Tim Sheridan and everybody else involved with this book turned me that way. Now I'll be met, I'll admit to be fair, this book's probably not for me. Maybe Teen Titans Academy. Maybe they were going for that strange Academy younger adult um, audience. Maybe, but I I find that a little unlikely. But this whole mess needs to be over, and what actually needs to happen is we get the. Even use these Teen Titans. Get a better writer. Put them in a, you know, they're in the tower, which is going to be gone, is gone. But you need to have better ideas and not, you introduce five, six, seven, eight, nine new characters and expected us to like them all. Yes, there was a few issues dedicated specifically, like to the Bat Pack and to the Gorilla Greg. But I still don't know anything about these characters. You barely gave them any sunlight. And you barely gave them any development. Now, if a a good writer was able to come in and develop these characters and show us why we should like them and, and make us understand what makes them tick, then this book could have been done well. But there was no good mystery. They had a crossover with the Suicide Squad. Even those issues were bad. Even Bolt, who I really started to like when they when we did Future State, was ruined in this book for me. That's an issue. A speedster that is a double amputee is such a cool concept. How does she work with a speed force? How does she get into it? How does she deal? That is an amazing concept. And guess what? You ruined it. You ruined Bolt. You ruined Red X. And your book is canceled. This is really, really bad. Teen Titans United, or Titans United, should have been the book to get all of the advertising that this did. Generally, I'm not this negative. But when there is something that is uh, flabbergastingly bad, it needs to be talked about. And it needs to be shown that you can learn and grow and be a better writer by learning from this atrocity that you created. Three more issues. We'll have to take a look at the sales on stream one day. But my goodness, I cannot believe how bad. Yeah, Brick's dead. Pretty sure. I mean, whatever. Is it supposed to be an emotional moment? Because I don't care. I don't care about any of these characters. (laughs) It's so bad. What were they thinking? Anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think about this huge Red X reveal that wasn't Clown Hunter and that sucks and this sucks. And honestly, I don't know how much more I will purchase from Tim Sheridan. I'm not a fan at this point. Improve upon this or that's that's kind of you're going to turn all fans off.
All of them. Even the ones who are willing to give you more than one chance. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>